Hey, hey guys, sorry for the bad intro just now. I I'm really tired for, because I just made one video, had to edit it and upload it and so today I'll be doing on a very special video. Let's put it up here. It's not mine by the way. Don't think but I am not in my house today. Yes, I am not in my house today. This is my my uncle's place. Actually, my grandma's place, and this is just his room. Yes, I'm using his room as a film place because it's the most quiet. Sorry for the background music, but the the fan, as you can see, it's going. So I don't really like that kind of thing. So ah, oh, shut up, fan. Yeah, do something good for once. Yeah, okay, so so today's video will be how to solve a Rubik's cube. Something you never thought I would do. Yes, something you never thought I would do. And this is a, actually a tutorial. It's going to be a while because it's going to take a, quite a while to, you know, like show you the whole explanation. I will go through a very brief go through and if you want me to have a more detailed one, you just leave it in the comments down below. I'm pointing to my table. Okay, so today's video will be... Uh, why am I repeating it? But now, you need to know the basics of a Rubik's Cube. Okay, the main side we will be using, or you, or well, I would like to use. And by the way, I just learned how to do this not long ago. But like, the main side of the of the Rubik's Cube is... Is... Um, the white side, which is the one I'll be using the most common because... I prefer using the white side. You can use the green, the, or the yellow, the blue, the orange, and the red. It does not matter. It does not consist. But just for the sake of the video, if you guys are following through, which I, which I hope you guys are. Sorry. Oh, camera. Which I hope you guys are. The camera is not working well for me. Which I hope you guys are. So. Yeah. And again, sorry for the bad quality videos. I am using my phone and I'm using YouTube via YouTube capture. It's not a very good. <laughs> but I will try and find a good, like you know those little things that you can just put on your, like put it on your camera. If you can see, this is my camera right here. Just put it on your camera. I don't know what I'm doing. Camera is down. Just put it on it and like it can make better quality videos. And I do have a light, meaning that if I want to block out the light, which I can be seen over here. This is how the video actually is looking like. But now I have the light, so... The reason why I'm putting light is because it's pretty dark in the room. The quality will not be good. It will be shitty if it's, if it's not light, so... Yeah. So let's get on to it because I'm wasting too much time. I don't, if you can see up here on the corner, somewhere down here. I think I'll wait just somewhere down here. Maybe, yeah. I mean, you can see the time stream running on 3 minutes, 17 seconds. So... Let's get started. So first you need to know the sides. White. The opposite of white is yellow. Oh, then there is blue. The opposite of blue is green. Orange. The opposite of orange is red. Yes. So sorry if I fail because I am not really good in the movie school. But I just want to do the tutorial because... Yeah, I even have a piece of paper over here. You can hear it. It just, it's just for extra, it helps me just remember how to, you know, do it. So, sorry the camera's the thing. So, let's get straight to it. So, first I'm going to have to, first you need to know that these are the uh, side cubes. Or, there's many other words for it, but I just call it the side cubes because it's the most easier word for me to remember. So, this... Side cube has two faces only, as you can see, only two faces. And around somewhere down here, I will be showing you like the algorithm. So if, when I say F, it means the front side. For example, this is the front. The front side turn 90 degrees clockwise. When I say F I, which is I like ice cream I. F I means 90 degrees clockwise for the front. Seems to go with the rest, F I R I. So when I say up, ah, you, you, is the top, you, you, I, then you can figure out the rest. So, so okay, let me just start basics. So just you is up, B 
is that which will not be used most commonly. Um, R would be right, left would be L, B would be no B bottom, bottom would be. I don't think we'll be using bottom. It's something that would be. Normal. Yeah. So let's get started. Let's first. Need, oh, I forgot to introduce the corner cubes that has three faces. Okay. So now let's grab a look. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> if I feel this, I don't know what to say. I've got no words for myself. So now, let's get started. Okay, so first you need to use the, what I would personally use, I would use the white side. Okay, orange, white side. First you need to do the white cross. I think this is the most common one, but this is for beginners like me. White cross. So first you need to find the corner pieces. Okay. So let's find we found one here, right here. So this is the orange. So we shall move it. This okay, these are the center pieces by the way. Center pieces. Sorry for the late introduction. I know, I know I suck. So center uh center pieces, that they do not change whatever way you move this. Centerpiece will not change. Even the back will not change. So yeah, let's move on. I I, I mean I guess if we move the middle, then the centerpiece will change. If not, the centerpiece should stay the same. So again, like we said, white orange. So we move it to the orange side, like you can see right here. Now we will turn 180 degrees. M will turn 180 degrees. So it has it connects together the white first side of the cross and now we move on to another cube here we have red and yes turn it here put it under the red and turn 180 degrees and we will get this now we want to find the blue oh it's really here for us just turn 180 degrees and we have the blue and not necessarily not like this that it can be any other way it doesn't have to be like a one straight line this is just a coincidence it was a one straight line that's why like you would think like it's just a coincidence with a one straight line and then we have to find the other white one. Um, oh, there it is. So it is green. We want to move it down, move it away, move it back up because we don't obstruct this. So this is green. So we list it under the green. Then, then, then just move it up. Okay. To be honest with you, there are cases. Okay, I'm just moving away. There are cases that when you see a white piece facing up, how I always say you cannot just line this up the white piece, right? So. It's like you can, you can just line it up with the white piece, right? Any white piece because the green is here. So what you want to do first, you want to know that this bottom of the green. You want to move it towards the green, under the green line. Then you turn it 180 degrees. Same. It's like just that now the green's on top. Now the only thing you have to do now is just move the middle piece down. So what I would like to do is, for example, hold the left cube. Like I mean left left turn. Move it up. So you do not obstruct this too. You do not obstruct this as well by moving this away and then moving it back so we still have this and now now we have the green cube facing us now we'll just turn 180 degrees 180 degrees and you have the white cross and if you can notice it is all in line with the color okay now next one we want to find the white corners so white corners are not as hard as you think it is but for example now we have one white corner here what you do now is, uh, you want to follow the, to get this out, you want to not really know the algorithm, but this algorithm is not really an algorithm, actually. It's, so you just need, to, just need to know that you have to move this thing down, the one the white piece, turn it away from the earth, and then move the white piece back up. So it does not chop this, it clears this back away. So now let's, let's talk about this one. So this is orange and green. So we move this to the side where it's orange. Green is here, so all you need to do now, you know, the cube this cube here has to come to this cube. Very simple, move this like actually, you don't have to move it away, it's really in the position we want it to be. Just turn it down, move this towards, and then push it back up. So now you have the first corner piece done. Now move the second corner piece, same thing, just want to get this out of the way. Same for this, move it out of the way because you don't want it obstructing your way. So Next one is the red, green, and white, which is up here. So you know that this piece, it's ready. You cannot move it here because the white is not here. 
Do you want to move it such that it is red, green, and white at the bottom? There are three cases where that is your white can be here, here, or here. So now, actually, all the the algorithm for it is all the same. So very simple. You need to know the algorithm. You want to have the one where the face, the correct face, it can be this way or this way. But most likely, you want to have the thing on your right hand that is the easiest. So the algorithm for this would be R. No, sorry. R I the bot okay how do I say this like how do I say it such that it is like I don't know how to express like not express it to you guys but how to show you guys what I mean like how how I would sh like show it so okay I know you know what I'm gonna give this letter D down for D okay D so we shall use this as the thing. So again, oh wait, where is it? The white red. Okay, so it's here. So R I D. So it's a bit over here. D R. So now we have now we've got it here. So now you want again. Okay, I'm just gonna show you this all the way. It's just. Or it's just hold on, okay. so it's just it's very simple. It's just um it's just R I D I R D. I'll show I'll show you guys down here. So R I D I R D R I D I R D. I do really do a D. I can do D anyway. So now you've got it down here with the red part. So this is too complicating. Like I said, I'm going to do a very brief one. So I'm going to do a red here, like the red blue over here. So this this is very simple. You don't have to do anything. Just R I D. But I'll still put it there anyways. Just move it up. So now we've got all corners. Last corner, you'll find it. It's over here already lined up perfectly for us. Again, the same. Just to do R I and D. And now we've got a full face, and we have something like this for all sides. So now you have to turn this back so to such that the yellow is facing us. So now you want to do is you want to softer. Okay, now the first thing, thank you. The whole first row is soft. Okay. Now you want to soft the second row. This row, this row that I'm moving around like right here. So you want to face the. Okay, this is where things get slightly complicated. Okay. For example, in you want to do now you want to look for you want to look for a cross you want to look at the crosses sorry you want to look at the crosses for all for them you want to look at the cross so you want to look for the, all the corner pieces on the yellow side facing up so you want to look that does not have any yellow so green yellow nope turn again all yellow nope turn again red and green so yes there's no yellow so let's go okay so okay essentially it was over here wasn't it so all you do is just move this corner piece such that it faces red and this is green so green is on its right so this is from left to right so this such in such a case the algorithm goes like this u r u i r i u i f i u f and now you have it over here that's good so now we have to move on to the next one orange red, yellow blue. green yellow blue. yellow red no red blue no also the green just lined up for us nicely and blue so this is from left to right so we so it's the different algorithm it goes something like this u i l i u l u f i u i f i and now you have this and it's perfectly good so now you have to look for the next one that doesn't have yellow and they all have yellow apparently so that is kind of bad in a way in the sense that it's bad so now you got, there is no yellow in a case like us just do either one of the algorithm right now so right now i think i'll be putting on the the left one because i just leave it on for the whole thing that would be good um, so now I just want to do it to get this out. So very simple. The algorithm for the 
the from the left to right would be U I L I U L U F I U I F I actually it does not matter if it's F I or U or F so I just need to get this white one down as well. that's that's really it. So now you've gotten it out of the way, as you can see right here, you've gotten the red and green. Now you know, to the red now, the green you want it to be over here. So green. Actually we did this didn't we? Red to green. I think I messed it up, but it's okay. It's okay. So let's do it from green, red to green, so it's left to right. If you guys can remember the I'm not gonna I'm not gonna put the the algorithm anymore because you can just refer or you can actually just follow me so this is from left to right so do the algorithm u r u i r i u f i u and f okay so now you've got it here now the only thing is you have to get this one out kind of get this one out so um this one is on the right so i guess you can just use the right one so u R U I R I U I F I U F Hopefully Oh did you get anything out? Did you get anything out? Mm, yes it did so we have this so we just move this to the orange so it's just that the blue is on this right so do the same algorithm from left to right U I U sorry R U I R I U I F I U F. So now we kind of have oh, it's only the last one, which I think yes, the green and orange again the same algorithm from left to right. So U R U I R I U I F I U U So now I think the whole yes the whole the whole center layer if you can see right here the whole center layer is now um, like can you just say the first two layer is now complete see the first two layer now is the top layer which is I think the most hardest because we want to get the um the next uh sorry just next thing every every time it's just what we want to get the next. Cross. So now we want to find the yellow cross, which is already nicely put down for us. How nice! This is a very lucky case. Hardly will we get something like this, but of course I can be bad. So there's a cases where there's only the center, the meaning all this is gone. There's only this, this center. Okay, it's only this. This algorithm I will put down here, but not now. And then there's also another scenario where there's only this L. So if the scenario of an L, you want to put the L on the top left okay the same to the algorithm for the only only one of these and the l is the same the only different algorithm is if you get a straight line and i can prepare with that because i've gotten a cube which has a straight line and i will do the algorithm with us and i'll review and i'll show you how to get across so now we've really gotten the cross so i don't need to the the algorithm for that if you don't have any will be down below now Right now, I'll give you about a few seconds. Okay, so now you guys have done. I'm, I'm done. Are done doing that. So now we shall move on to this. This is the only different algorithm. Is this the straight line? So we will follow the algorithm of. I'll put it down below as well. F R U R I U I F I. So now I've got it close. Simple, okay. So now, um, back to this. Now that we've gotten this, now we want to get the correct corner. Now we want to get the corner. So now I think we already have this. Yes, yes. We only have one corner done for us, and this is what I call the fish. Okay, the fish is very simple. We just have this two up here. Okay, we have this, the tail and the head. So one I want to do is I want to get the tail on always on the right hand corner, right top left hand right hand corner. And as long as you've gotten the fish, I think it's pretty much done for you guys now because we kind of have already have gotten everything in place. Now just need to follow algorithm of R U R I U R U U R I. We've got the whole thing correct, and this should be how it look like. 
Now I think you should be able to get one of at least like something like the same corner together. The, okay, the sentence does not matter, but you should get something. Like you, you didn't just do the algorithm again. I, I will lose just now. Just do it again until you get one of this, something like this, or like a full side done, or something like this. So now this is done. I'm going to move this at the back and face this. So this is the one at the back. Okay, we have this. And so now once we have gotten this, what you want to do is you want to do this algorithm with me. Okay, so I'm moving quite fast, like a brief. Okay, so R I F sorry F R I again. Okay, so it's the different one. B B R F I R I B again. B B R R and this. So I think you should have got it. Yes, one side that is correct. This is the perfect way you want it to be. Again, like I said you wanted to this to be at the back because this is the complete side. Now you see that you have this are the only difference. So you want the red to be go to the go to this red and this red, this orange to be come to here and this green to come here. So this is a no clockwise direction. So in the clockwise direction, this is the algorithm for it, and this is the final step. So F F U L wait. Sorry, sorry, my bad. L R I F F L R U F F and you are done. Now for the algorithm of now this is done. For the algorithm of um the clockwise one, the come to clockwise one is here. I'll show it to you. Is this one okay? This is the counterclockwise one. If you guys want to know how to do it, this is in, if you want to do it in this like like if you want to do it in instead of this you go instead of this direction you want to do it in this direction. So that is it. And thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked it and you have learned something, like subscribe and please leave a comment because of what I want to do next. So see you guys. Hey, what's up, guys? Sorry because I didn't manage to do the what do you call that. Um, the editing because it was not really working well for me so this is for if you're like getting the cube for one from the top this was this is actually for the the um, uh like after when you're solving the middle row so this is for for like from left to right so this is for this is the the way you should do it is u r u i r i u i f i u n f same for this, this is from right to left. It's U L U L U F U I N F I. So now this is for the another state. It's the state two where we only have this and this. This is the way you need to do it. This is the same when you have the L that I say to have it on the top left hand corner. So this is the one and this is for when you have a straight line. And this is for like this, like the ones where you have the different different positions of when you're solving the corners for the right. So this is the um, the way, and so it's quite fast. You can pause. And this is when getting the to get all the sides correct when you have two corner pieces already oriented correctly. And this is for the clockwise and the corner clock and the counterclockwise which you have already seen.